What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're jumping into Warzone and today we're gonna to be talking about how to unlock the EM2 and Tech 9, which are the last season battle pass weapons here in season six for those of you that are free to play in Warzone. Now, I know not everyone was able to play enough in season five. Maybe you didn't play at all, or maybe you're just joining us here in season six and you wanna unlock these. Great news is, is that you can via some challenges because they're nice enough to allow us to do that. Now, the hard part is, is that the challenges are usually harder to complete in Warzone if you don't actually own multiplayer for Cold War. But the great news is, is at least that these are completable. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks on how to do it the best possible way. And even some loadouts that'll help you guys along the way as well. But before we jump into the rest of the video here, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so let's go ahead and first talk about the EM2. Now, in order to unlock this, you're going to need to know what that challenge is. So you're going to go to where you edit your loadout. You're going to go to the assault rifle category. You're going to scroll down to the EM2. And the challenge is going to read as follows. Using assault rifles, rapidly kill two or more players in 15 different completed matches. Now, obviously, in order to do this, you're going to want to have a great setup. So let's go ahead and dive into the loadout that I recommend for you guys to use when going for this challenge. All right, my personal recommendation is going to be the Farah. For the muzzle, I'm using that Gru Suppressor. The barrel, we have that 19.5 inch Liberator. For the optic, the Axle Arms three times. The magazine, the Spetsnaz 60 round, and the underbarrel, the Spetsnaz grip. I think the Farah gives us one of the best opportunities to go for this double kill, just simply because it's such an easy weapon to use, and you can actually do this at a pretty decent range, considering that you are using an assault rifle. Now, the hard thing about getting a double kill is when you're playing, you're gonna have to find two people that are maybe solos or maybe take someone down and happen to catch his teammate and get the team white. It's gonna be about putting yourself in the right circumstance. And we're gonna actually get into what is a common place for both of these challenges after we've gone over both of the weapons and what the challenges are to unlock them. Kind of that way you guys know the best tactics to go for these challenges. And I think it'll make a little bit more sense. So when you're going for the assault rifles, double kills are not going to be necessarily easy but I do have confidence that you will be able to do it. You only do have to get one. The only thing you really have to do here is just get the right timing. It's not gonna be necessarily something you do in the first 30 seconds of a match, but I think if you put yourself in the right positioning, which you can with a three times sight, and even with using the FAR in general with the 60 round mag, I think you guys will be just fine. This is one of the easier challenges in my opinion. It's just a matter, like I said, of getting yourself in the right positioning to, they, to be able to take two people out consistently, being that they do have a little bit more help for so. So our second weapon that we're gonna be talking about is the Tech 9 and in order to unlock this, of course, again, you're gonna to wanna to know what that challenge is. So you're gonna go over to your SMGs, you're gonna scroll down to the Tech 9 and the challenge is gonna read as follows. Using SMGs, get two headshot kills in 15 different completed matches. So essentially, you're just gonna jump in. You're gonna to have to get two kills that are headshots, of course, but I think that's gonna be very doable. Again, once we talk about the, the common recommendations I have for these challenges. It'll make a little bit more sense. I think you guys will get more than enough time to complete these pretty easily. So let's go ahead and jump into the loadout that I recommend for you guys to use when going for this challenge. All right, my recommended weapon is gonna be the Cold War MP5. For the muzzle, we have the agency suppressor. For the laser, I'm rocking the Tiger Team Spotlight. The stock, I have that Raider stock. Magazine, Stun Ag 50 round, and then for the rear grip, that Serpent Wrath. All right, so now you guys are set up with the weapon. I highly recommend this just because it's one of my favorite SMGs to use. If you guys are more comfortable with something else, it is about getting headshots. Make sure you guys use whatever loadout that is, but this is where I was the most successful. And I think getting two isn't really that difficult. Sometimes it can be hard to kind of just get the right timing. Aim high. Normally I say aim for the center mass and hope that sometimes you get the most shots hit. But in this case, you are going to die a lot if you do this, but do aim high, aim for the head. I guarantee you guys will be able to complete this challenge pretty easily. So let's go ahead now that we've kind of covered both the guns, what you need to do to unlock them and the obvious loadouts that I recommend to do so. Let's see about the common things I do recommend in order to complete this. So first things first, you're gonna need to know what game mode to jump into, and I'm gonna recommend Plunder. Plunder gives you an extended amount of time. I have matches that last 10, 15 minutes, and the longer you have, the more opportunities you obviously have to get these challenges completed, and not everyone is able to complete them in the first 30 seconds, and obviously the less matches you can do it in, the better. It does say 15 completed matches, so you're gonna have to do this 15 different times, and obviously you don't wanna have to do it more than that, so being able to complete that challenge in the amount of time you have is important. 
and plunder gives you the longest amount of time to do that. So also, while you're playing plunder, you're going to want to go to storage. Storage is the most popular area. People go there to try to rank up weapons. People are going there to do the same thing that you're doing, kind of unlock their weapons. So it is going to be a very popular place, giving you tons of engagements and tons of opportunities to complete your challenge. And I think that's all it really is going to take with the challenges we're talking about in today's video. It's just about putting yourself in good opportunities and giving yourself a ton of opportunities to get these accomplished, essentially. So by going over to plunder, going over to storage, I think you guys will be more than successful with these. You guys go out there, use the recommended classes. I don't think you're going to have too many issues. These aren't like some of the other challenges. I don't think they're going to be super difficult, but everything is, you know, different levels of challenging for every different type of player there are out there. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Hopefully this is helpful. If there's anything else I can do, let me know down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel. I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.